Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show things to do after updating Kali Linux 2021.4. So let's start. So in the last video, we learn how to update and upgrade Kali Linux. And there we see no changes which are in Kali Linux 2021.4. So we have to make some changes to look like. So first of all we make a drop down menu for terminals. With this addition, you can now choose between the regular terminal, root terminal, and PowerShell. So we add all of these. So in your terminal, right click on it. And then click on properties. Now here click on the plus sign. And add the terminals like search root for root terminal. Power for PowerShell. And if you want other terminals then search terminal. Now you can see the drop menu is working. And here we get the PowerShell. Which is available in the update. The second change is the workspaces overview has been configured to the buttons appearance. So again right click on workspace. And then click on properties. Here change the appearance miniature view to the button. The third change is. The panel layout has been tweaked to optimize horizontal space and make room for new widgets. The CPU usage widget. Following the steps of other desktops, the task manager has been configured to icons only, which, with the slight increase in the panel's height, makes the overall look cleaner and improves multitasking in smaller displays. The other updates like. This setting can be changed easily via the command line tool Kali tweaks. In the hardening section, one can choose the value default instead, which reverts back to Samba's usual default, and only allows using modern versions of the Samba protocol. By default, when a Kali system is updated, the package manager, apt, downloads packages from a community mirror nearby. But did you know that it's also possible to configure Kali to get its package from the Cloudflare CDN? To be honest, this is old news. But what's new is that you can now use Kali tweaks to quickly configure whether app should use community mirrors or the Cloudflare CDN. The latest update of Kaboxer tools no longer looks out of place, as it brings support for window themes and icon themes. This allows the program to properly integrate with the rest of the desktop and avoids the usage of ugly fallback themes. So that is it. This is the top things to do after updating your Kali Linux into the latest version 2021.4. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you very much, see you in next video.